Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Now, tune in on Friday. We will have a look at this uh, interesting 1998 Dream PC with a Pentium 2 450 and two of the two cards in SLI mixed with some modern parts. There will be a solid state drive and a very fancy case. So make sure you tune in on Friday. However, today, uh, we're going to have a look at drivers. Basically, what driver do I recommend? How do you install them? What kind of options are there? And what about overclocking and things like that? Um, people always ask, what drivers uh, should you go for? So I've done this project ages ago. It's a Voodoo 2 SLI CPU scaling project with almost 900 benchmark results going over 70 pages. I put a link down below in the description. And I had some issues with certain drivers, but the drivers that I'm recommending in this video, those are the drivers I ended up using. They also work with uh, unmatched cards. So if I've got a card from Diamond and one from Creative, um, these drivers just get on with it and let you use SLI. So without further ado, enjoy this video. When you turn on your machine, you might get a screen like this, the PCI device listing, and we can see these two devices listed under multimedia device with no interrupt. These are our two Voodoo 2 cards. Here we are in the device manager, and I've got some issues going on with my PCI controller, but that's not important, it still works. And here are our two Voodoo 2 cards, and we will install the drivers through the device manager. And these are the drivers I recommend for Voodoo 2 SLI. They are the fast Voodoo 2 4.6 drivers. And when you unpack them, you find the readme file information. The actual drivers are in this folder. You find some help, some information. There are patches for two FIFA games, a couple of tools, and we will definitely use the tweaker tool. The other tools are not that interesting. And also some wallpapers, but to be honest, they are a little bit garbage. They don't really look that impressive. There are a lot nicer wallpapers out on the internet. So here we are in the device manager. This is our first Voodoo 2 card. Let's double click on it. Select reinstall driver. Go next. Search for better driver. And then we click on specify location browse. And here we can navigate all our folders. I've put it into the my documents folder fast voodoo driver 9x and then we click ok select next ready to install next now a couple of files are newer on the system so we're just going to keep those newer files finish and we got just got to restart our machine So that was the first card. So we're going to go back into the device manager and just install the drivers for the second card. So the process is exactly the same and it remembers the directory from before. So this will happen a little bit faster. And here we go. Here we can see both Voodoo 2 cards have the driver installed and are ready to be used. We're going to have a look at the drivers next, but first I want to show you a bit of what's going on behind the scenes. All the Voodoo 2 driver settings are kept in the registry, and you need to go to uh, Local Machines, then Software, 3DFX Interactive, Voodoo 2, and we've got registry keys for Direct3D and Glide. And some of the settings you can change here for example, the clock speed, you can turn on anti-aliasing and a few other options. Not all options are available yet. We have to install uh, a tool to enable, for example, the refresh rates. However, if you want to change something and the fast Voodoo driver by default overclocks the card slightly, so I recommend we're going to set the clock speed for Dark 3D to 90 and also for Glide and OpenGL. But uh, look, if you don't feel comfortable with the registry, just ignore this. We can do the same thing with some uh, nice sliders later on. So let's have a look at that OC tool that we should install. It's under Tools, Tweaker, V2, OC, and that will let you overclock, but also uh, turn on and off the VSync controls. 
There's a readme file here that explains to you how we have to install it and we basically we're going to copy the folder into the Windows system directory and then run the executable. So here we have the tweaker utility and we're just going to copy it into the system folder. Then we double click in inside the folder and we run the executable. So the Voodoo 2 Overclock property page has now been installed and we're just going to quickly restart the machine for that to take effect. So let's have a look at some of the driver options. We've got two tabs now. Here's the Voodoo 2 Overclock. So at the moment we are set to 90 megahertz because that's what we set previously in the registry. And here you can set the vSync controls. So by default now we have them uh, uh, turned off. So do not sync with the refresh rate. That's what you want for benchmarking. But if you're playing games and you're running your monitor at 60 or 75 hertz, you might actually want to untick this and the factory defaults are actually vSync enabled. But if you're doing some benchmarking, you want to make sure that's turned off, otherwise you're getting much lower scores. And here we've got some more driver options. We can change the refresh rates uh, for the various res resolutions. We can uh, play with the gamma settings. That's kind of brightness, not really, but it has the effect of um, brightening things up. Under advanced, we've got a lot of tweak options. Very interesting is this one here, disabling SLI. So if you just want to use a single card, you can turn off SLI. And here we've got some advanced features for Direct3D and for the Glide API. Also interesting is the system info. This will tell you that scan line uh, is actually working and it also shows you how much memory you have and all the driver versions. And that's basically it for this video. So installing the drivers is fairly straightforward. As I said, I've used the fast Voodoo 2 4.6 drivers in my uh, Voodoo 2 SLI CPU scaling project. There's a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. It is quite interesting seeing how these video cards actually scale. As for the test system, we will check it out on Friday. So make sure you tune in. Um, it's a very interesting 1998 dream PC project, so to speak, with some modern parts and a very fancy case. So do tune in and check it out. As always, guys, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that bell icon to get all the notifications. Like, dislike, uh, comment down below, share the video, all the usual stuff. I see you on Friday with another video.